Steps to Makeup Artistry and welcome back to my channel. So tonight I'm super, super excited because this is my entry video for the NYX Face Awards competition. So yeah, I'm super excited for that. Um, this is my first year attempting to create a piece to enter in the contest. So yeah, um, I went with this whole like bird queen or queen of the birds as tech warrior princess type makeup. I don't know specifically what I'm going to name it just yet, but you guys probably already see it in the title. But yeah, it came out so beautiful. A lot of details. I got the bird like crown going over my face and going with my cheekbones. If you guys are out there who joined the competition as well, good luck. And yeah, I'm just ready to go. I'm ready to go hard. I'm really, like, I really, I really want to win and I really want to be in this competition. So yeah, without further ado, my bird queen makeup. And if you want to learn how to achieve it, then please keep watching. We're going to get started with priming our face first. And I'm putting that all over my face and chest area. And now I'm grabbing NYX uh, Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk. And I'm going to begin sketching out where my bird crown is going to go. So I'm just going to um, go over like the, my, like just kind of go with the shape of my forehead and the curves of my face as far as where to place uh, my bird crown. And you definitely want to use a reference picture for this. I feel like if you use a reference picture, it'll come out a lot more realistic looking. Okay, now I've gone ahead and started drawing out the small, like, feather or scale looking, um, you know, like the feathers on the face, the sides of my face, but they're more like, like a scale shape or a half C shape. And now I picked up this Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation by NYX Cosmetics, and I'm only filling in the areas that our headpiece will not go. So, like, you know, around my eyes, uh, my... I guess all the areas that you would pretty much highlight, and of course you want to go down the um, down your neck and your chin area as well. So you're just going to pretty much do this like your usual foundation routine. And now I'm just slightly fading that uh, down my neck as I just mentioned, and just patting it in just to give my skin a little bit more of an airbrush effect. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start highlighting my usual highlighting routine under my eyes, um, on my cupid's bow, and my chin, and just a very little bit on my, um, on my jawline. And I'm just spraying this brush with NYX, um, matte finishing spray, or setting spray. And I'm just going ahead, this just helps making, uh, blending in your concealer, or any other makeup. It just helps blending it in a little more seamlessly. And it looks a little more airbrushed. And I'm just setting my all those areas that I highlighted with NYX Cosmetics um, Pro Matte or <laughs> Pro Highlight and Contour Palette. And I'm using the uh, yellow shade and a little bit of that, um, it's more of like a light nude shade that's right next to the yellow shade. And now I'm grabbing this more neutral setting powder by NYX Cosmetics to fill in the other areas of my face, like down the sides of my nose and on my jawline, pretty much everywhere that I didn't place my highlight. And this will just help like further blend our makeup in, like all the seams, so that everything just flows more, I guess, naturally, if you will. And now I'm setting my eyes, um, while well, prepping my eyes to apply this beautiful, bold, hot pink eyeshadow. And this will go all over my eyelid. And we're going to sweep this up, creating like, I don't know, a very wispy, like, bird-like effect going up um, with the arch of my face. And I'm just slightly fading that down the sides of my nose, the upper sides of my nose. And now I'm picking up this beautiful matte orange shade. And I'm going right above that hot pink, pretty much under my brow bone. And I'm also going to fade that down a little as well into my nose contour. Now again, I'm picking up NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk. And I'm just going ahead and lining my waterline with that. And I'm also going to bring that down a little in the corners of my eyes. Just to further create that bird-like effect and make my eyes look a little larger and bright. And I'm just setting that in with the shimmery white eyeshadow. 
uh, it was getting in my eyes a little bit. You know, you just got to be careful when you're doing it. But I'm taking that same shimmer shade and going back again under my um, brow bone. And I just slightly blended that in. And now just under our waterline and where we created like that inner bird corner eye, I just took a different shades of blues and I just lined under that. This will make that white really pop more and further create our bird look. You know, that big bright eye. And now I'm just going ahead and I'm just slightly blending all of those blues in and slightly blending it down into our highlight just to make it really fade and flow beautifully and very softly. And I'm going ahead and filling in my crease area with this deep purple just to give our uh, crease area a little bit more dimension and really make our colors pop so it can just look bright and vivid and super colorful. Because I don't know, I just was thinking of like parrots and other tropical birds. So I really want this look to be super bright and colorful. And now just to further make our eyes pop a bit more and make them appear to be larger, more bird-like, I'm going ahead and lining um, just around where we did the uh, white eye pencil. And also I lined my upper eyelid as well. Just to, I don't know, just make it really pop and really really draw your eyes or draw your attention to the eyes and I just feel like eyeliner period just completes any look and it just takes it to a whole nother level for me anyway so I yeah just really made the look pop a lot more and look more exotic and dramatic and I don't know fierce so I'm also lining right again right under our waterline where we applied that white just under that and I also took a matte black shadow just to smoke it out a little further at more dimension as well. Getting to my little dance, started feeling myself a little bit. And I was bored. Like, I didn't have nothing else to do. Well, I, I was doing my makeup, what can I say? But, yeah, you know, sometimes you just got to dance it out when you feel like you've been sitting there too while just to get a little loose. So, yeah, and I'm going ahead and taking this gold pigment paint. Um... It's more of like a lipstick consistency, almost like a matte lipstick consistency, but you still have to um, set it with like a translucent powder, mainly on your chest area anyway, which you'll see later. So I already started filling in the areas around where we applied the white pencil, just filling in the areas, but don't fill over the white areas. And I'm just doing a little bit of contouring. I kind of forgot to do it earlier, but it's no biggie because, you know, you can you this the areas that are available to contour is there so i just go ahead and fill it in a little and i'm just blending that out just a little so again it just flows more seamlessly and i just took that same brush that we applied that uh nude face powder earlier with just to blend it out just a little but you gotta have that deep contour in there girl so yeah now i'm going ahead and start with my shading i grabbed a um black gel liner and I'm just going in, like, like again, you have to just think of, like, or refer to a picture of an actual bird. Or just think about your uh, shadows and shading. And I feel like you would get it perfect every time. So, yeah, I just went on, like, the outer perimeters of my bird features and lined it with the black. And then started feathering the black up a little. And I also used that to fill in small areas, like the eyes and the nose. And then I just took a brown gel liner just to fade into the gold to further just create depth and shadow. And again, just to make it look a little more realistic. And I used that same uh, method as far as the scale-like or feathery-like little half circles on the sides of our face. Again, you just want to think of shadows and fill it in from there. Make a pair of... Just just think of where, if the light was shining down, where would it cast the shadow at? And hopefully you get it right. So again, I'm picking up NYX Setting Spray. And I'm just going to spritz my face with that. You want to keep doing this every so often just to make sure your makeup sets. Because I didn't want to use a translucent powder on my face. I did use it for my neck later. But I didn't want for my face because I really want that gold to pop out more. And so now I'm grabbing this, uh, that same gold paint and I'm painting over my lips. That'll be my lipstick for the day. 
And I've also grabbed a uh, pink liner as well. And I'm just filling in the inner perimeters of my lips just to create more of like an ombre, almost like a flower look. Like it just pink and then just fades into gold. So now I've already begun sketching out my uh, neck piece. It's more of like that, you know, the popular neck piece that you see a lot of the uh, girls wearing, lately, like the ring, multi-ring necklace that I think was pretty original, like it originated in uh, Asia somewhere or Africa, either one of those. I know I've seen it on Asia women more of the tribal look so I'm pretty much creating that same effect on my neck and I've already gone ahead and sketched out my where my feathers will be laid out at and I've began applying a green paint and you want to kind of fill in the upper areas of that and then feather it down and then I picked up a blue paint as well focusing it on the bottom perimeters and then feathering it up and it'll create an actual feather effect like you know, who knew? And I just felt like this was the more simple way, an easy way to get it to people who's not really, like, that, um, skilled as far as, like, painting techniques. I felt like that should help you guys out a whole lot. Because it was pretty simple. I didn't really have to do much shading at all. I just layered the colors on each other and feathered them into each other. Like, turned my brush on an angle and just dragged it down in, like, V-shapes or triangle shape motions. And now just to give our necklace or the feather areas a little more depth and shadowing, I took that same matte brown that we used earlier and I just went on the um, outer perimeters and feathered it down into each other where you would imagine shade would be. And I'm just going ahead and setting those areas in with a translucent powder because on your neck area, you're constantly turning your neck. So it's going to end up smearing. So you definitely want to set that and I've even gone ahead and applied a setting spray. And now for the fun part, I'm adding my feathers. These I got from my local craft store. And you can just pretty much apply them however you want around your crown. This is what I chose, just the top of my head. And I just took a little bit of eyelash glue and applied it to the tips, wait for it to dry a little, and then started placing it. And I've gone ahead and started painting my neck. I filled in the um, inner areas with the gold. And now I'm outlining it with that same matte brown um, gel liner as before. And now I'm just slightly feathering those bottom areas up just to create more of a curve. Like it's curving around into like an actual ring. And now I'm just grabbing a little bit of that matte black gel liner and just going in like random areas, just creating lines, and that'll further create a more realistic effect. And I'm going to go ahead and set our work in with NYX Setting Spray again. And our look is all completed. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had a whole lot of fun doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed if you try to do this look as well. And NYX Cosmetics, here I come, girl. So hopefully you guys picked me. And again, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Ciao!